All right, so I've got a couple of projects here. Um, they're both doing the same thing. One's a regular mower, one's a uh, power washer, but the engines are both pulsing. And I've been dealing with this a lot uh, here lately. And I'll show you what's going on. I'll see if I can duplicate this um, before I dig down into it. So this is an MTD Pro and you see it has the Honda engine on it. And this Honda, it has the uh, choke on the side with the little lever here that spring loaded and it just automatically closes. So I'm going to crank it up and see if I can duplicate um, the pulsing. Sometimes it's, the pulsing was really bad, um, but it might be warmed up a little bit. I had run it earlier when I was uh, checking out the pulsing. Um, but then you'll see once I get it going, if it starts to pulse, if I pull back on the choke just a tiny bit, not all the way, then it stops. So what that's telling me is the, the carburetor is probably clogged or needs some cleaning or something. Um, and when we look at that, you can see this power washer I have here. Um, and it's doing the same thing. This is an older, I don't know how old it is. It's a Briggs and Stratton. Um, you see kind of light duty, five and a half horsepower, 2200 PSI. I have others that are, you know, 3200 and stuff like that. But, but this one's doing the same thing. I, use, I actually use this and, uh, and power washed everything around here. And it started to look good, but it was pulsing. And I was having to do the same thing. I have to turn the choke a little on. Um, to get it to stop and then it would flood out so let me see if I can duplicate this see with the choke just barely on it uh, runs much better um, this one's doing the same thing so what I'm gonna do um, sounds like a fuel problem to me I'm gonna take the carburetors off clean them off and uh, see if we can get them running smooth I guess it doesn't matter which one I do first um, Guess I'll do this one. I'll let this one cool down. I'm going to do this one, and uh, you can see the only thing that's missing. You can see the air cleaner cover, and the air cleaner is uh, is gone. But uh, everything else is there, and I know it works. I used it to clean itself off, and. Uh, and I cleaned off some of those chainsaws that I'm going to work on later. I've got three of them over there that were pretty filthy. But uh, so it works. It was just running really erratically. So um, yeah, it was pulsing, and when I turned the choke on a little bit, it would uh, it would start to run. But then you put a load on it through the uh, through the pressure hose um, and it would try to die and you have to fiddle with it so I'm pretty sure it's the carburetor but let's get started all right so this is off um, the main the fuel is off this is off but I'm still gonna take the spark plug off there we go let's take the hose the uh, the gas hose can you see what I'm doing Alright, there we 
we go. So it's all back together. One thing that bothers me, it still feels like it's uh, constricted. I guess it's it's pressure inside, um, and it's kind of hard to blow down into it. It closes properly. You don't want to turn it upside down. But then when I go back and let the the float go down, it's still hard to. Uh, to blow into it so I just might have to replace that one little that one little red gasket but I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and see if it runs any better um, if I have to order the gasket I will and I'll go ahead and get uh, the air cleaner cover for it because uh, everything else I know it runs okay um, I might as well do it. I do plan on using this one myself or putting it into my my uh, leasing inventory. I lease a lot of equipment out so uh, this one's a light duty 2200 PSI uh, but anyway let's uh, let's get it back together and see see how it runs. whatever water was in there was in the bowl okay gas is on let's give it a second to fill the bowl somebody put a nice little It's a little flowery. Ready? <laughs> okay. Somebody gave my dog a make uh, makeover. But let's see. Everything's on. Gas is in there. Uh, let's see what it does. That's good. Before it would not run at all um, when I had the uh, the choke all the way open. I would have to close it a bit like that. Like that is all the way closed. Um, a click or two and it would run. But now it's it's wide open. So yeah, that's good. That did the trick. I was uh, 
I was worried that I was going to have to order parts and wait again, but I'm still going to have to order parts for... I'll see if I can dig up a, an air cleaner cover. And, uh, and I'm looking at the fuel line. That'll be an easy fix. But other than that, so that solved that problem. So we still have the Honda over here. It's kind of doing the same thing, but I'm pretty sure um, it's it's the same old story, you know. It's uh, it pulses like that, and with the choke slightly closed, it it sucks in more gas, uh, and then it'll run. But if you do it that way, and you keep you know having to turn the choke a little bit on, a little bit more on, then it's going to run really rich and your spark plugs, you know, you need to check that too. Check your spark plugs and make, and if they're just really black, you know, really blackened, then you know it's running real rich. But, uh, but that's about it, you know. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the mower, just take the carburetor off and uh, clean it out and you know, inspect the gadget, the, the gaskets, make sure everything's okay. This one was borderline, but it is working. And but other than that, if 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 your engine's pulsing or if it if it runs okay when it's idling, but when you put a load on it, it starts to pulse like that, then just get under there and uh and clean your carburetor out, out a little bit. It might not be too bad either. You just might just need to flush it out a bit. And uh and that's it. So all right, I just cleaned the carburetor on this one, and uh, didn't film it. I figured you've seen it before. I just wanted to see the results here uh, and see if it's going to run smooth. No pulsing, so it's ready to go. Uh, well, that's it. Well, thanks for watching, and watch for my next video.